Hey everybody, we are here in Southern California getting ready for the first toy hunt of the vacation. Let's go into Target. Here we go. This is a strong way to start a toy hunt. Look at this, Master of the Universe, New Attorney of Beastman, $32.99. I, I know other people have found this already, but that is a nice price for a deluxe. That is an old school deluxe figure price right there. Um, here you go, Lego fans. Let's look at some Lego. Now, I don't really know what I'm looking for here. Like, Harry Potter seems to have a lot going on. We've got a lot of Star Wars. I've done those heads before, the, the Boba Fett head and the Mandalorian helmet. Um, Minecraft, I do not understand that. But if this is your jam, here you go. Target in Southern California. Let's check out another aisle. Hello, Marvel Legends. That sounded creepy, I hope no one heard me. Um, Maggot, like, this is, oh, is this the whole wave? We, we got Siren, Wolverine, a lot of Wolverines. A lot of Wolverines. Uh, Wolverine, Wolverine. This, oh, Sabretooth, this might be the whole wave. Who are you missing? Darwin, it's Wolverine, Wolverine. I think we're just missing Darwin, but otherwise, he's back. Otherwise, that's it, that's the whole bone break wave. So, the Maggot interests me. Maggot is one who, who, might pick up, I don't know. I don't know, no. But, actually so we've got the new buck, the Vulcan buck, as I'm sure we'll be saying for years to come now. And we've got the Black Panther Wakanda Forever Legends series. Now these are already like 15 pounds at Smith's back home. And I know Shuri is already, like you, you can get a good deal. I think Mbaku is, who I don't see here. Some nice fun toys. Look at this. They're already pushing Spider-Man 2099 before the film has come out. That is impressive. Got some retros. Fun looking snake eyes there. I don't know who they're. Duke. Red Ninja. Duke again. Uh, don't know who that is. Um, Lady J. Roadblock. Cobra Commander, and then, I mean, this looks pretty, pretty standard here for the G.I. Joe Classified. This is interesting. I'm looking for these kind of things. Uh, just have a look here. Black Adam needs a spaceship? Huh. Hey, it's a Mezco. Yeah, you can leave me comments in the. You can leave a comment in the <laughs> section below. Who's five ninety nine? Good deal, but obviously it's sold out. Okay, Transformers, Power Rangers, very empty. Look at that. Not many going on. One lone Pink Ranger. Got some of the new Legacy series. Cup. Oh, this is cool. This is like four, four action figures in one for seventy-four dollars. That's not a bad price. Okay, let's go check out another aisle. This end cap looks interesting. Look at this. We've got Leonardo, Bride of Frankenstein, but it's the turtles. We've got Terminator. Look how many they've got. Oh, look at that. They've got Rock Soldier. Predator Jungle Hunter. Check out this box. Look at this Necker box. Wow. I mean, that's really fun artwork. Let me have a look. Hang on. Let's have a better look. That is good. Look at that artwork. That is cool. What's inside? You've got. Hang on. I will. One second. Turn it over. Beanie, T-shirt, action figure, magnet, keychain. Okay, exclusives. If you're a TMNT fan, I get that this might be your jam. I'm going to try and open it. There's no, there's no tape. There's no tape. This is the box is just folded over. This is some nice cardboard. There's the figure. Look at that. That's pretty good. 
This is pretty good, right? Oh man, I hope no one's, I'm, I just got really loud and I hope no one <laughs> is gonna come running. <laughs> um, that is nice. What is this box? That's a cool exclusive figure. Okay, I'm gonna put this away and I'll see you in another aisle. Jurassic World Legacy Series. T-Rex. I mean, Legacy is nice. I'm after this, the Hammond collection. These are hard to find in the UK. Amber collection was difficult to find in the UK and Hammond collection is difficult to find in the UK. So this is nice. And any others? I try, and they got Triceratops. This is tempting. This is tempting, guys. I like this kind of thing. Look at the detail. Look at the paint detail on that Triceratops. That is nice. And we've got some Gallimimus. These are the ones that sort of, the, the, the ones that ran in a herd over Dr. Alan Grant and the kid. Well, there he is, Dr. Alan Grant. And the kids, the Gallimimus sort of ran uh, and they were being chased by the T-Rex, if you recall, in the original Jurassic Park film, which is an amazing film. That's an amazing film. It's Spielberg really knew exactly what he was making there. Interesting. Okay, I'm interested. I'm very interested in, in, in these, uh, these Hammond collections. Look at that. I like the UV spot printing on the box as well. That's cool. That's, that's attention to detail right there. What else we got? Got some Lightyear. That was a fun film. Indominus Rex. More light year. More light year. Clamp champ. Jitsu. I I know nothing about Motu really. I very little. This I'm interested in though, the the micro galaxy squadron. I I probably won't pick up many of them because I can find them in the UK. Grace King Grace Gold. Trapjaw. The Millennium Falcon. Grogu. Oh, that's cool. Little chicken walker. Vader's TIE fighter. Got some classified, got Dengar. I'm trying to build a retro bounty hunters crew on the cheap though. On the cheap, not gonna spend too much on them, not gonna spend full price. This Jawa, that's an exclusive, isn't it, the Jawa? Okay, got some elites, got x Park. Lex Luger, who I think Lex Luger's the chase in this in this wave. And Kane. We got X Pac, Luger, and Kane, that tag team champion Kane, I think. And here we go, what else we got? We got Cody Rhodes, we got Retro the Rock. Oh! Alright, there you go, it's on sale. Sixteen forty nine for the elites. I think they might get less. I think they might even go down. I oh. Stacy Keebler as well. I think that's her first time being released as a WWE Elite. And some Ultimates, Mr. T, Hogan, and Batista. God, that is a, look at that. That is a good looking head sculpt. Excuse me, sorry, no, no worries. That is a good looking head sculpt, look at that. Look at that. Two of them, two of them right here. And Mr. T. There's one, and then Hulk, we've got five Hulks, one Mr. T, but two Batistas, but one of the Batistas, look, look at this. Yeah, if that doesn't come off and you're a mint in box collector, you'd be annoyed. Okay, what else? I think that's the extent of the collectibles that we're after. Yeah. Okay, let's go check out the collector spot. Here we go. My first collector spot of the vacation. A massive what if of Killmonger. Oh, Godzilla. If only I had more space at home, I would buy so much Godzilla. Get a black light Funko t-shirt. Oh, we got some more Funko t-shirts here, Strange Things, season four. That was a good, I re I'm a Stranger Things fan. Jurassic Park. Oh, it's just the logo. Oh, come on, Funko. You can do better than that. Where's the cute big eyes or something? What else? We've got 
got a lot more Funkos here. We got Dr. Sattler with the sick Triceratops. Sick in the ill sense, not sick, like sick in the ill sense. <laughs> Same thing, right? Just making myself laugh here. To the amusement of no one, I'm sure. This is cool. Batman Grap Grapnel Launcher Replica. Not Grapple, Grapnel. Who makes... Oh, there we go. NECA makes it. Right there, NECA. Little NECA logo. Grapnel Launcher Replica. That's cool. Didn't realize it was a Grapnel gun. Grapple gun. Got some plushies. Some more Funkos. Oh, we got Stratos and... Tamagotchi. <laughs> An R2-D2 Tamagotchi. You don't have to feed him anything. Don't know what that was about. Okay, what do we got here? We got Bob Ross. Wow. Who's buying Bob Ross? This eclectic mix of action figures from NECA flanked by a, a fully articulated high-end Bob Ross action figure. No shade on Bob Ross, by the way. He's, he wasn't a big deal in the UK. I, but I'm aware of him just from pop culture. This is cool. Flash Gordon. Ming the Merciless. Or just Ming, I guess, in that packaging. Got Predator, Deadpool. Arnie. It's Terminator. A lot of King Kong. The Mummy, Wolfman. All, several Wolfmen there. Back to the Future. Oh, this is that sort of more retro style packaging of the Flash Gordon characters. There we go, we get Flash, and we've got Ming. I mean, I like the artwork on these. The artwork on, on, on the packaging is very cool. It's very, very well done. I like the color palette and the use of the, the black lines, the pencils. Bronx from Gargoyles. Chunky figure right there. That's a chunky boy. Yeah. Oh, blind bag. Oh, Necker blind bag. You, you did me wrong before. Nine ninety nine, worth twenty five dollars. Is it though? Is it? If we weren't in a cost of living crisis, you might tempt me again. But um, let's go check out uh, another target. Hey guys, we are here at another Target on our toy hunt. Let's go inside and see what they got. And another of the boxes. So this, I realize, is the Target Geek Out, or Geek something. Um, one of their releases, and there you go. Pretty soon after, they've hit the shelves. This is like an explosion of cute... Oh. And we've got He-Man and Orko. Interesting. Buried under some plushies. That's a nice two-pack. I I don't collect Master of the Universe Revelations, but that is a nice two-pack. Some NECA. And what else have we got? Pan's Labyrinth. Just scouting for what we've got here. Original superheroes Flash Gordon, 33 points of articulation, thank you very much. Exclusive target Sylvie from the Loki series, I think she did a really nice job. Um, I think those are model kits, which are not my not my jam, but if they rock your boat, there you go, find them in the collect spot of target. Anna J, is this her first time? Is this her first action figure, Anna J? Might be, might be, might be. It's much quieter in this store. I'm liking it. I'm liking it. Oh, and these are those sort of retro card back Flash Gordons. Bob Ross again. Why not? Why not? Spyro. That's interesting. Spyro has a very special place in my household. Let's see how much that costs. Okay. Here we go. I've had a look and get ready for this. What do you think? A NECA, pretty basic figure. 
20 bucks or so, maybe a bit more, maybe 25 if it's a new release. Get ready. Hot dang. $28. Plus tax, $30. No, thank you. Here we go, Hot Wheels. And pretty empty end cap. Some Master of the Universe and Batman, some monster trucks. But pretty end, empty end, end cap there. Again, I'm not a massive. Uh, I don't know Hot Wheels, and obviously someone does because they've bought a lot of this pack. But I still think it's cool that you can pick up. Hot Wheels for 99 cents. A dollar gets you a toy. That's cool. Deadpool moped there. Motu. Some retro Batman, some 66 Batman. And some Zack Snyder Batman. And what else we got? Okay, hey, this is cool. We got Bowser. And he's on a gliding cart, and Yoshi, blue Yoshi. Hey, that's kind of, that's neat. If you know what these are, let me know in the comments below, because like I said, I really do not know much about Hot Wheels. I admire that they're such a big collect collection, collectible, and affordable. You know, that is a good thing to be collecting. Oh, Gravedigger, even I know Gravedigger. Look at those monster trucks. That's a nice two-pack. But yeah, you know, when when costs are going up, nice to have a collection that is fairly affordable for the most part. All right, let's check out another aisle. Oh, this is tempting. It's not amber collection, but look at it. Look how big that is. Over a meter long. There you go, that's the Legacy Collection 3-pack. It's the famous kitchen scene. The Velociraptor who can open a door. Terrifying stuff from my childhood. T-Rex. And there's the Amber Collections. Okay, who we got? We got Triceratops. Look at it. It's tempting. Ceratosaurus. Gallimimus. And T-Rex, look at that. Ho oh, ho ho, UV spot printing on the packaging. And a great looking T-Rex. Now, I know this is three and three quarter scale, but, oh, I think you could use that with a six inch action figure. You could put that up against Wolverine in the Savage Lands, that could work. This is interesting. What is this, Pixar? Featured favorites, I've never seen these before. Those are nice. And what's this? Buzz Lightyear? And we've got... Oh, wait, wait. Oh, crap. <laughs> Trying that again. Oh, T-Rex. Oh, this is interesting. What's this? I've never seen this before. Featured favorites. What's this? Buzz Lightyear? Oh, that's a cool two-pack. Let's have a look. And Oh, my... Oh, my God. I can't believe I almost, just, <laughs> I almost just knocked it down again, even when doing a bit. This is a nice two-pack. Mattel. And is Mattel well made. Very nice animation. Trapjaw, Trapjaw. They've got Motu up to Wazoo. Nice little plan words there. Was it though, Dom? Was it? King Grayskull, this is, as I saw earlier in the previous um, Target, that is a nice looking deluxe action figure at a nice deluxe price. Wow, they've got a whole array of Master of the Universe Revelation. Andra, Fisto, nice. Here we go, Star Wars. Um. Not sure that's Star Wars. Uh, yeah. Well, I guess if, guess if it's here. Okay, what are these little cutie cutie things that... Galactic Pals. I don't... F that's not cute, right? That's kind of scary. Yeah, maybe it's just too close to Halloween. 
Lando, Jawa. We've got Lando and Galen okay, Erso, Dengar. Some more of those legends. Very similar selection to the target we saw before. Hogan and Batista. Ooh. Look at those face sculpts. They are good. And we got a whole, we got five of them. Got five Batistas. Bunch of Hogans, bunch of Mistees, and five Batistas. Very nice. Stuff, uh, oh, that classic Randy Orton when he first won the World Championship at SummerSlam, I do believe. And there it is, Lex Luger, the chase. Orange pants. Black pants is the common, is the, the regular. And then those orange pants are the uh, the chase variant, if you're into chases, which I am. I am indeed. Godzilla. And Big E, this is a nice, this Royal Rumble wave, nice wave. And what have we got here? Marvel Legends, here we go. We've got Thor, Marvel's Ragnarok. Bit of a janky box, but nice to see it in the stores. We got Shuri, we've got Vulcan, got Killmonger with the interchangeable head as well. That's really nice. That's really nice. I wonder if somehow he's back in the in Wakanda forever. I doubt it. I doubt it. But you never know. It's comic books, right? And there he is. The Black Panther. Interesting Batman action figure here. That sort of artist rendering, black and white, sort of penciled. I don't have enough space at home to like warrant buying those, but I would if I could. Hello. That is a lot of what is that? The Life Found Future Foundation. Sorry, Future Foundation. Spider Man. A whole bunch of them hanging up hanging out, chilling up there in Target, and now resting on top of Batman. Why not? 60th anniversary, look. Oh, windowless packaging. The great experiment. There we go, we got the tape on it, so no one's messed with this one. You can tell if someone's tried to put new tape or fresh tape, because it's card, it'll rip, but still. I, I appreciate people's hesitation we will have to see just how it goes, really. I've been really lucky so far with the with the windowless packaged action figures that I bought from, from Hasbro, from Marvel in particular. There we go. M'Baku. That was the builder figure previously, so if you missed out on that, you can just buy them right there. A lot of Marvel. There's another one of those McFarlane comics include. Wow! Wow! This is one of the original. Oh my gosh! These are great Wonder Woman action figures. I've got both of these in the collection. The gold one I still have mint in box. They are great. Um, some of, in my opinion, McFarlane's best. And a gold label. Lex Luthor. Look at this. In the power suit. That was a pretty good rebirth storyline actually. If you haven't checked it out before, check it out. DC Rebirth. Lex Luthor proving to the world that he's a hero. But he's not. Hawkman from the soon-to-be-released Black Adam film and his Black Adam, Dwayne The Rock Johnson himself. That's a good likeness. That is a good likeness. I'm tempted by Hawkman. I think I'm going to play the long game, though. I'm going to just wait. I think the price will drop. Cyclone, interesting costume compared to like the awesomeness of Hawkman, I think. Another lone Power Ranger. Oh no, we got we got two more, but not many. I mean, it's pretty empty. Look at that Power Rangers and Transformers. Fairly barren shelves. Big old Optimus. Anything? Have we got Galvatron? Starscream. 
You know what? I think, yeah, I think that'll do it, team. All right, let's go find one more target to finish the hunt. Hey guys, here we go. Last target of the day. Let's head inside and see what they got. Here we go. Target, don't let me down. They're doing those offers for this, these action figures as well. A lot of Mustafa, really. Colonel Mustafa. Alex Luger, Stacy Keebler, yeah. 17 bucks. I think this will drop. I think they'll drop if you're into any of these characters. Oh, we got MJF. Another Batista. Another Batista. Hogan and Mr. T. Wow, these are going to get discounted shortly. There's so many of them. There's three targets we've seen so far, and there's so many of them. Quill. I've got a nice sort of Mando display coming along at my debt off at home. And Quill, like, you can find them for. Like, 10 bucks maybe somewhere else and he's a good action figure Dengar again Lando 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 some lightsabers some more lightsabers some of those smaller retro vintage line if you like that it is much of the same wow wow how are they going to shift the stock? Those figures have been out for ages now and they are still warming those pegs. Hello, who's this? Is that like Key Man as Terminator or something? Or is that the, um, the Faker, right? That's the Faker. That two pack, the Buzz Lightyear two pack again. Oh, oh another T Rex. Another T Rex. Bing Bong, that's great. And Crush, oh my gosh. What is this line? Featured favorites. Very cool. Very, very cool. I'm a fan of Disney, uh, sort of, in many ways, I like a lot of the Disney products and those are two great films. Finding Nemo and Inside Out. Great films. A lot of dinos. Another big dino. Let's check out another aisle. Transformers. Again. Got Starscream. I, I'm tempted to get the whole studio series, but just the 80s movie. But. I think I might just do the Autobots because it's just going to be too expensive and I'll, I'll go bankrupt trying to buy all the Decepticons and Autobots as well. So I might just stick with the Autobots. I've, I've got Jazz and Blur and, a, and all the Dinobots or, or not all the ones that they've released so far. It's a nice, that's a good Red Ranger. And the cogs, I used to have a cog that... Oh, look at this guy. Almost $200. Is that Metroplex? Who is that? Nice. DC Multiverse, Gold Label. These have been warming some pegs for a while. Hello, we have... Lois Lane, Superwoman. Wow, this is the Injustice Society, right? The Crime Syndicate, sorry, the Crime Syndicate. Interesting figures. Lady J, protecting the shells. Another Wonder Woman, wow. Flint and Lady J. I tell you what, I'm looking forward to. Uh, Cover Girl, that looks like a nice G.I. Joe classified release. What are those puppet things? They've been everywhere, haven't they? Another Spider-Man 2099. 
like a baby Black Panther, Thor's hammer, just Mjolnir. Well, it's on the bottom shelf because no one can uh, pick it up. I okay, we got some Black Panther. We've got quite a few, a whole mishmash of ways here. Look, we've got Doctor Strange, we've got Guardians of the Galaxy from the Thorn Lo Love and Thunder Wave. We've got Maggot, that's a good looking action figure. Sabretooth, Siren. Wow, they have got an array of Marvel Legends waves. Four, I can't, that's four waves, four different waves here in store in this Target in Southern California. Not bad. Not bad. Like, it's good to see, and of course, the future Foundation Spider Man. It's good to see them on the shelves. Like, you can pick it up. You don't have to. You don't have to get ahead of the curve and pre-order everything all the time. You can actually just go into a store and they've got them there, waiting for you to buy them. I mean, whether I buy them, you will have to wait until the end of the video. Another Ragnarok. I've got the 80th anniversary uh, Thor, but I think I might be selling him, you know. I think I'm going to bank on them releasing a new Thor, a classic looking Thor that's pinless sometime soon. More Lex Lugers, any chases, do we have the chase? That's Stacy Keebler, that's not a chase. It's kind of cool. Evolution multi-pack from Pokemon. Squirtle was one of my favorites. Coming Blastoise. I might pick up a few of these little Pokemon battle packs. Just I think they're they're fun additions to add to characters who so wouldn't have them. Like Darth Vader versus Pikachu or something. That's a cool three pack. Yoshi, purple, blue, and yellow. Oh, I was always tempted by these dioramas. They they package them so well. And I was a Mario kid growing up. I wasn't saying, oh, oh, another, look at that. Oh, I've been looking for these. That's tempting. Not the Minecraft, the Spider-Man, Jada, Metal Nano Figs. They're hard to find in the UK. Got Ripley, Fortnite, Midas Rex. I don't know any of these links. This is like a a whole new world to me is Fortnite, the Fortnite action figures. Brutus. And some accessory packs it looks like there. A little bit of Halo hiding out back. Okay, let's go check out another aisle in this target. Collector's spot time. Here we go. Bob Ross. Bob Ross. Bob Ross. Ash. He was next to Bob Ross. These aren't Funkos. What? Funko got competition. We got Ming and we got Flash. Gremlins 2, Back to the Future, Pan's Labyrinth again, oof, that's cool, that is a cool Necker fig, wow, classic Star Trek, plushy, oh we had all the gargoyles, Bob Ross again, Bob Ross, bringing home the bacon in action figure form, it's Bob Ross, This spot is pretty empty here, team. That is pretty empty. We've got some what if Funkos? Hello, kitty. Hello, kitty. Got some more of those dark light Funkos. And another Turtles Collector's box set for the win. Ronin. Retro carded. Ming the Merciless and Flash Gordon. Mm. They are 
fun looking. Bob Ross again. Darth Vader turned into a backpack, naturally. How else does he get to school? Oh wow, look at these Jurassic Park Funkos. Wonder Woman again, wow. Did they just find like an extra crate of them and show them around? McFarlane leaning into his spawn haunt jaunt. Enjoying it. Jason Voorhees. Stranger Things. The Wolfman. Oh, some Godzilla vs. Kong. A big Lampras. Lapras, sorry. Lapras. Gotta get my Pokemon right. Empty shells. Stacy Keebler by herself in the corner telling us it's time to wrap things up. So uh, I'm gonna go show you what I got in the car. Yes, first toy hunt of the vacation done. So, so happy to be back here in California. My gosh, and, and to actually get the chance to do the toy hunts that I enjoy watching uh, other YouTubers do, because obviously we don't have the same kind of stores in the UK. Like if anyone ever compares Asda to Walmart in terms of what you can find, they don't know what they're talking about. They have no clue because over here, Walmart and Target, they're just enormous sometimes. You can find these massive centers. And I kid you not when I say they don't know what they're talking about because you can't find NECA in Asda in the UK. You can't find NECA in Sainsbury's in the UK, but you can find it in Walmart. And as we saw today, Target. Managed to do three targets on the first toy hunt of the vacation. A lot of interesting stuff and I picked some things up. Things that I didn't pick up that I wanted to uh, to highlight. Firstly, that Spyro by NECA. Spyro has a very special place in my household. Um, and if it was about $20, which is what I thought it would have been, I would have picked it up. But whoo, that's quite, quite the price tag for a very simple looking action figure that has no accessories. That was pricey. Uh, so if that ever goes on sale, I think maybe it's a fairly new release. If that ever goes on sale, I will try and find it. But yeah, no more than $20 for, for Spyro, I don't think, considering that it's NECA, but it's no way near as kitted out as like the NECA Predators or the NECA Gremlins or something like that. But Spyro, very interesting find. And the other one that I had no idea they were doing is was that TMNT, that Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles sort of box set where you got like a beanie, a shirt, a, you know, a few accessories and an exclusive action figure. And the look of that shredder, when we opened it up and had a look, that shredder is a nice looking action figure. Would I pay 50 bucks for the box if I was into the other accessories or a big TMNT fan? Uh, yes, but the only thing I would have wanted from that box was the action figure. And am I willing to part with $50 for that one action figure? Not so much, but a nice find on the hunt. Nevertheless, a cool looking action figure. What did I pick up though? Well, first we turn to the WWE, the ultimate edition Batista. Yes, I was not gonna leave the US without picking up this guy. He was on my, I have a list, I have a list. As well, I'm sure some of you know, I have a list of what I'm looking for that are hard to get in the UK, but seemingly easier to find here in the US. And these Ultimate Editions are some of those, that line effectively is a little tricky to find in the UK. Not, not so difficult that you couldn't go on the hunt for it, but Batista certainly is tricky to find in the UK in my experience. Certainly you won't find him in retail. Like you'll have to go to a specialty shop Amazon or eBay or Zavi or one of those places to try and pick him up. So happy to pick him up. He's a great looking action figure. I actually went through quite a few. You saw how many there were. I went through quite a few of them because I wanted to get one that had a really pristine box because I think I might keep this guy in box. Um, I don't get many Ultimate Editions. I've got Bret Hart, The Rock and now Batista. Um, and so yeah, really happy to have this guy to my collection. Great head sculpts like these different head sculpts are fantastic and for those of, for those of us from the ruthless aggression era of wwe the contracts where's he gonna go and then he gives the old thumbs down to triple h great action figure very happy to have found this and and uh paid paid a a pretty penny for it as well but um that was not the only thing i bought i also saw this 
which hasn't hit the UK yet. It is a nano metal figs from Jada, I think, and it's part of the Spider-Man 60th anniversary releases. So they got the little emblem there. They are die cast models. It is series eight. So there's apparently seven other series that have come before it that I've missed out on. But the main reason I'm picking this up and some of you TTRPG fans might already do this or this might be a, a helpful tip for you. Um, these are good for the play test that Marvel have released. I think it's the Marvel Multiverse TTRPG, which is effectively a Dungeons and Dragons style game for Marvel. And they're doing a playtest this year, so you can pick it up. I think it's about $9 or $8, and you play it. And they're, they're looking for feedback from fans that play it so that they can do a, a proper release of it next year with like the rules set in stone and ready for expansion packs and the like. It's a really... I, I've read through the manual, not all of it, but I'm reading through it, and it sounds like a really interesting TTRPG. Really fun if you want to play your favorite Marvel heroes or maybe a lesser group of heroes. That could also be really funny to do with your pals. Um, but what this does, what I think this is a really useful solution for, is if you're not the kind of player that does theatre of the mind, or certainly for combat and movement, you'd rather have models, these models are great. These, these really fulfil the job of, you know, uh, miniatures that you get for D&D &D or Games Workshop Warhammer style miniatures. You can use these. I mean, here, look, we've got Doc Ock, we've got Prowler, Kingpin, Craven, Hobgoblin, a bunch of symbiotes, Carnage, and then you've got a traditional Spider-Man, Miles Morales, Spider-Girl, Spider-Woman, Silk. Like, that is a nice array of figures to get started for a TTRPG adventure. So... Check it out if you're interested. It's $19.99, but serves a really good purpose. Um, the last thing I got, though, this is hard to find in the UK. So I knew, talking about the list, Batista was on the list. This line is on the list. It is the Hammond collection. Oh, it's big. Tyrannosaurus Rex. Does that even fit in the screen? Does that even fit? Look at that. Look at that face. The packaging of the T-Rex with the UV spot printing is beautiful. Like, I wouldn't blame you if you wanted to get these to be in-box collections. I, however, will be doing a full unboxing and review of this T-Rex once I'm back in the UK. But these Hammond collections, you can just about find them at specialist retailers in the UK. And even then, even then it's really hard. So finding this over here on the first toy hunt, and there are a bunch of them in that particular target, amazing can't wait to unbox this and do a review it's going to be good um, but there you go first toy hunt done if you like this video please do hit the like button that really helps channels like mine grow as we're still in our first year and yeah more toy hunts to come i'll be back with another toy hunt video of my vacation here in the u.s very soon